Good morning and welcome to Time Valley Motorhomes. Today we're going to be doing a walk around of your Bessica E765. So we're going to be walking around the outside and doing a point out of all the uh, various points. So first thing we're going to look at, fuel. This is a diesel flap. What we do is use the, the, uh, the main Fiat key to unlock it and then unscrew it. We walk around the vehicle. We've got our storage compartment, the way in which we access the storage compartment is on the side, you've got a little push lock. So we push the button in, that releases the locker. And then again, we use the key to lock both. It doesn't work off central locking. Habitation door, again, fresh water. So use the key to unlock, press in, turn, and then we can remove the fresh water cap and then simply fill up with a hose pipe and again once full and the way in which we can see if the water is full is by either going in looking at the water level sensor inside on the uh, digital gauge um, or again uh, we'll know when it starts to overflow again press that in just make sure it's locked in and then again lock it with the key top and bottom we have our uh, fridge vents we have the awning, which we're going to send through a separate video, which shows you how to operate the awning. Our mains hookup. So mains hookup, to remove the hookup, simply press and hold the little blue push button. So push it down, that allows it to retract. And then again, to insert back on, press and just insert in. Once you hear it click, then you know it's locked securely. Cassette toilet. So obviously the way in which we remove the cassette is press a little yellow toggle at the bottom, push it up, that allows the cassette to pull out. To empty the cassette, quite simply, remove the yellow cap and then empty, always empty from this point here. Um, if, uh, and again, when you're filling up with chemicals, there's two routes you can do. You can either use the green chemical sachets, which if you were using that, you do it from inside. And what you do there is, from inside you'd open it up um, internally, put a little bit of flush into it and drop a sachet in and then it would just uh, dissolve. The other option is obviously remove the cap, have this the filler neck up in the 90 degree position, uh, remove the cap, add a, a full cap full of chemical, so that would be either blue or green. Um, in this country you can tend to use both. When you're in the continent, uh, they tend to be green only. And again, just to insert this back in, Quite difficult with one hand. And then once it's clicked in, we know that's secure. This is our flush. So on some motorhomes, they have a separate flush. On this particular one, uh, the flush is all connected. Um, oh, well, sorry, is a separate flush. So on some of them, um, it'll take it from your fresh water tank. With this one, you can add an additive. So you can either add your, your pink additive, um, or there's a couple of different colors, but that just keeps everything smelling sweet and then just fill it up with a hose pipe. But always be quite careful when you're filling it up because it does fill up quite rapidly. Um, so just keep an eye on it. And then again, just lock this back up with the correct key. To the rear, we've got your reversing camera and we also have the ladder. With the ladder, you've got a separate piece of the ladder, um, which is inside and stored um, on the overcab bed. Uh, that just simply clips on, then gains access to the roof. You've got your reversing camera, and again, you also have your bike rack. Bike rack operates quite simply. It'll be in the upward position. And again, what you tend to do is utilize one of the bike blocks um, just to, to lock it into position. So put the, uh, undo this particular head by simply pressing and then allowing you to pull out the, um, this section of it. So if I demonstrate on here, it's probably easier. So press in, these come free, and then to, to fix back in, push, and they're in nice and, nice and safety. So the bike itself, we lift the bike on, we put these through the spokes of the wheels, and then the bike blocks, they sort of attach to the frame or to the seat. Again, you can move the head to ensure that you get a nice uh, secure fixing. Let's walk further around the vehicle. You've got external storage. Again, operates exactly the same way as the other storage container. 
you've got your um, your flue for your um, combi boiler. So again, this must be kept clear. Don't block it um, or it will cause the boiler. For gas locker, the way in which we open the gas locker is exactly the same as the other lockers. And um, again, it uh, locks with the key. So what we're putting on is we've put on this uh, hand tighten gas uh, hose. So to tighten, it's anti-clockwise and then to unloosen so to, when you want to change the bottle just twist it and again that would be um, on clockwise so it's opposite thread to what you would imagine so once that's on and then we just turn the bottle on so nice and nice and easy again um, just make sure the bottle is secure you've got two straps um, so again let's take 213 um, 211 kilogram bottles um, or 213 kilogram bottles so you've got plenty of space and waste, plenty of capacity. Your waste outlet is just located here just underneath your rear locker. To drain the waste use your, your waste tap again open up the locker and then twist and then to close twist back. Quite easy. To lift the bonnet on the passenger side if you look when you open the door just in the corner You've got a little lever, pull the lever, that opens up the bonnet, and then again, just in the center of the bonnet, put your hand under, you'll feel another lever, pull the lever, and that opens everything up. So, in terms of your um, your washers, washer fluid, you fill it just in the left hand corner. Again, to top up your, uh, your water for your uh, coolant, it's just there, and it for, to check your oil, dipstick is located just there. If for any reason you need to um, jump start the vehicle, if it goes flat, um, your positive terminal is located just here. Again, as a flap, you'd utilize the key to put in and lift. And then just over on this corner here, that is your roof. So they're the two things that you would utilize. If you need any further information, please contact us on www.tyvalleymotorhomes.com but we look forward to seeing you soon when you collect your motorhome.